So I need to change the uh, rear brake light on the near side of my Suzuki Alto because there the brake light bulb's gone. Uh, so to do this I'm going to need obviously some new bulbs. Uh, they are the Type 380 and they are a combined brake and stop light element together. Um, I'm going to need a 10mm spanner which is here and a Phillips screwdriver does help as well. What I'll need to do first, I'm going to need to undo two bolts. We have this one here and one lower down which also as is one of the rear bumper bolts as well. So I shall undo those, uh, initially loosen them off with a 10mm spanner and then use a 10mm, uh, the Phillips screwdriver to take them out. Once they are loose, you can use the Phillips screwdriver to actually then remove them. This one, which will almost drop out now. And to just switch this. Okay, so <clears throat> I need to put my hands there and release, just very, very gently put it back at the top and at the bottom and it pulls off and just unhook it from under there and then we have the whole light comes off like that. Now the stop light bulb is in the top section so you just twist it and that lifts out and then the bulb itself just pushes in and twists anti-clockwise. Uh, this particular bulb this particular bulb has an offset pin because it's got two filaments in it. So you just have to make sure you get them in the right way when you put it in and twist it. If it won't go straight away, take it out and turn it 180 degrees and it should then fit. So here I have the new bulb. I'm just getting the socket for it. Just put it in, just turn it till it's, it won't go in there. There we go, it's gone in and you turn it to the right. Once that's in, just put that back in position. Turn it till it locks like so and the bulb is in place. It's just a matter of replacing the unit now. When you replace the unit, there are two locating pins here and here, which have to line up with there and the hole just down there corresponding to that one. So you have to lift them back into place. That goes down behind the bumper. Line up the two pins with the two holes. Once they're in place, just give it a little knock, lock it back in position. Then you just replace the two bolts. And I just tighten them up initially with a screwdriver. So once you're finished doing the screws up, or the nuts up, just take your spanner, just nip them up a little bit, they don't need to be too tight, just nip them up a little bit. And that's it really, it's just a matter of checking them now to make sure they're working all right. But that's the basic general how to change a light bulb in the rear of a Suzuki Alto. Thanks for watching. Bye.